Hello students. Today our lecture is about a poem. Naming percent is elephant. Written by Mary Dobson. This poem is basically a ballad. Ballad is a poem or song narrating a short stanza. Traditional ballads are typically of unknown authorship, having been passed on orally from one generation to another. This poem is about an elephant who saved the life of his master named Porus in the battlefield. This is a beautiful example of honest loyalty, courage, extra, shown by an animal. We humans can easily express our feelings by using words, but animals express their feelings by crying and gasping. Stanza first. Here yet tale of the days gone by, days whose recording is short and scant. This is a tale that can never die, told of a king and his elephant. In this stanza, the poet started by saying that listen to a story of those days that have gone, those days of which Less or little information is available. This is a story that will never live forever. A story of a king named Pors and his elephant. In the stanza second, out on the plain where the waters go, out on the banks of the Jhelum wide, Pors the king went to meet his foe. Pours the king in his battle pride. Here the poet says those plain areas where water runs. On the banks of river naming Jalam, the king Pours had went there to fought with his enemy. Poet started to describe the view of the battlefield. On one side, the king Pours was in pride. Third stanza, drawn up his elephants in army, standing in state, in unbroken rank, while Alexander the Great, for fray, led up his troops on the other bank. Force has kept his elephants in a line which seems tough to break. On the other bank, Alexander the Great was present with his troops. Four stanza. Fights raged the fight. It was hard to tell what would be tied, and they fought the more till from his elephant sudden fell. Pours the king, who was wounded. So, the war started in such a furious way that I was difficult to say what will happen, but they fought continuously. Then suddenly, King Porus fell from his elephant, who was wounded badly. Fourth stanza, sorry, fifth stanza. Then did the elephant, faithful beast, for his defense, Play a gallant part, standing above him, lest ever the least harm should assail him from blow or dart. Then the elephant, who was a humble beast, for defending, saving his master, played a mind blowing part. The mighty animal stand over his master to protect him from any further harm like dart, arrow, or sword. Six stanza Chanting loudly, he held at bay four men with arrow or spear or sword, challenged them all to approach their prey, dared them to Injure his wounded lord. 
The elephant turned loudly. He stopped the troops, standing with sword, spear, or arrow, challenging them that don't even you dare to injure my wanted lord. Sam stands up. Then at the last, with his mighty trunk, lifted him tenderly on his head, bore him in unconscious faintness sunk, where he could rest without fear or dread. At the end, the elephant with his strong trunk lifted his lord Pors carefully. King Pors was in a state of unconsciousness. The elephant kept him in a safe place where he could rest. It stanza, stanza and last. Ah, these dumb things that but cry and pant. They too can love for God made them so. Pors was saved, but his elephant died from his wounds. Thus the legend, legends go. At the end, poet with a sad hearted wrote that these animals can't express feelings by using words, but they cry. They too have a heart, which love as they too are the creatures made by God. The king Pors was saved, but his faithful elephant died because of the wounds during battle and during saving, protecting his lord. The poet gave the elephant the tag of legend and said like this a legend was gone thank you